Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. We are in for a long stretch of dry weather across parts of the west. A real um, seesaw type pattern where the jet is ridging off to the west and then a big trough is going to develop out to the east, east coast, northeast. So we'll look at all that in this uh, update today. I wanted to show you the infrared satellite and just give you an idea of um, the upstream uh, view here on infrared. Um, so the big ridge of high pressure, which is just, it's running off the charts at times, an eastern Pacific high right there, just covering um, the Pacific Northwest, parts of BC, California, you know, creating a real roadblock for um, any sort of snow. And, and it has downstream effects, obviously, and I'll show you some of those coming up. But you see the two lows behind it, really just amplifying the situation. And those will come up over the top, but um, they're not going to affect much of the West here in the immediate future. Talked a lot about this this morning, east-west seesaw through Thanksgiving. Um, you tend to see that a lot in the atmosphere, a sort of a give and take, uh, one ridge, one trough um, in part of the country. Um, so I talked about that in the bullet points, uh, chrystomer.com if you want to check that out. And please subscribe if you haven't. Um, real easy at the end of the uh, the post. You just uh, put your email address and hit subscribe and you'll get a confirmation. So it looked at the pattern, looked at the jet stream. And this is what's going to take us into the next phase of this, which is um, the Thanksgiving pattern. So let me just load this in. I've got it in my show here, full screen. So this is the uh, this is Thanksgiving across the west, the jet pattern, big high unshakable you know it looked like we might be able to break at least a piece of this down but i just don't think that's going to be the case now i mean look at the axis just bend to the north it's like it, it's just not giving there's no give and the second piece of this is if we get a big storm across the east northeast then this pattern is definitely in it for the long run um with that seesaw type of pattern now beyond this there may be something coming and look what happens on the other side of that northeast storm setup, the west starts to see a pattern shift. Now, this is the 27th. High pressure appears to be gone by the 27th, or at least minimized. And lower pressures moving in, a more east or west to east flow on the jet would bring precip back and probably overrun parts of the northern Rockies. So this is a bit of optimism. This is, you know, obviously late in November. It may trickle into early December from what I've seen, but it's a possibility. But again, it's by no means, you know, written in stone with the, the strength of this high. It's going to be tough to get rid of it. Um, so that that's the way I see it right now. Let me take you back to the blog and we'll go into some of the timing issues here. I did look at that East Coast storm. In fact, you know what? Let me go back to that since we're just talking about it right now. Here it is. This is the 26th. And a couple of things to point out. Nice trough, big dip in the jet, nice jet streak. Um, so between the 25th and the 26th, probably the big days. Uh, where it develops the track, the intensity, all up in the air at this point. But certainly the pattern is conducive to what you see right here, at least some sort of storm system setting up in that time frame. So let's go into the uh, the forecast timing here, the future radar and satellite. Um, so by the time we get in Sunday, again, there's just nothing happening across the west. It's all moving up into BC and kind of overrunning into uh, uh, parts of Alberta. Um, now, a little bit of action right there on the 23rd. That all goes through Idaho and Montana, a little bit in Wyoming, but they're just, there's not a lot to it. And there's the view on the 24th at 11 p.m. I'll run that out for you one more time. So there's the morning of the 20th, the morning of Monday, the 21st. And here comes a little package. By the time we get into the afternoon on the 22nd, sends it in into the morning, and it's in and it's out. It's very light. And that's it for... Uh, the period through the 24th. And again, maybe after the 27th, we start to see things shift. So let's go back to uh, the blog setup here. We'll go into the forecast snowfall elements of this uh, forecast. All right, so let me take you into phase one. This is the 19th through the 21st. And it is about as dry as you can get. One inch in parts of the Pacific Northwest and BC, and that's it for that time period. So time period two, there's a bit more action. Um, so this is the 22nd through the 27th. Now, within that period, you know, there's that little storm system, that little clipper that kind of comes across the northern tier of the Rockies. There's some light accumulation with that. And there is some potentially more accumulation, some better accumulation towards the 27th. So once we break past the 27th, then the numbers here across the west may start going up. But that's it through the 27th at this point. If you're planning on skiing, I'd, I'd stay... And during that period in the Pacific Northwest, BC, Banff area, 
maybe northern Idaho with some of that blow off. Um, so let's look at to the let's look at the northeast. All of today through the 27th. So what you're capturing here is mainly that potential for a nor'easter, and the best snow would be interior in northern aspects. So northern Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, with anywhere from four to 12 inches. Now those numbers, you know, pretty good sweet spot right there, but they could go up if the storm strengthens, takes takes a different track, or they could go down if it doesn't hug. If it takes more of an interior track, so there's you know there's some still there's still a lot of points yet that have yet to be determined, but that's the way it looks to me in the Northeast at this point. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.